Sup dude and dudettes, this is Froggy2K9 and today I'll be doing another one of those videos where I break down my own gameplay. So, on this game I'm using the something 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 something. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's, it's the weird M MC901, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I apologize for this first bit, I didn't mean to save a screenshot. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, it's the MC901. Anyway, I didn't mean to save a screenshot. I was trying to get rid of the um, thing at the bottom, and I forgot the, I forgot the, the button to do it. That's the one. I don't forget that. I don't know. Oh no, it's early in the morning, and the first thing I do is end up doing the commentary. Anyway, as you can see, start off the game really nice. Get, get a nice kill there, and this spot right here. Right above this box is a really great head glitching spot. Remember this spot, and you can get loads of kills at the very beginning of the game, like I do right here. I get my Reaper during during this time in this spot. This is this is the spot to be if you want to get kills right at the beginning of the game, because loads of people seem to funnel down that the um, alleyway, the back alleyway there. Loads of people seem to funny funnel down that area, and it's a really great spot just to kill for from. So I suggest you really get in this spot and you really dig yourself deep, nice deep trench, and just sit here for a little bit, just a little bit. Don't stay here too long, because you see why in a minute when when I get to the people who are spawning in different areas and they tend to take different routes depending on where they spawn. That's what you t that's what you tend to find about randoms. They'll they'll take a different route as long as they spawn in a certain place. If they're spawning in the same place, like right here, as long as we'll stay back, they'll be spawning in the same place every time. So they'll come back down the same route every time. That's what Scrubby Dubbies do. And that's the way you can funnel them in and you can make baby buffalo out of your Scrubby Dubbies. So yeah, if if you want to get if you want to get your kill whore on, make sure you find out the routes which the baby buffalo run. If you find out their routes then you will master them. You will just own them day in, day out. So what you want to do is you want to ignore what everyone says. If people like, like oh, you're camping bitch, you're camping bitch, you're you're a really sad, sad ass sack of shit that can't play the game. Well, I don't care. You know, you're the one funneling down the same hallway every single time I kill you, and you come back down the same hallway. And then if I move you come back down the same hallway so why should I move you should think about coming a different route because you're a retard anyway I know I'm outmatched there there was three people there I am way outmatched so I'm just gonna back up and back up and back up be a bit random about where I run as you see I didn't run in a straight line I did sort of turn slightly I was actually moving my analog stick so I moved over slightly and then I lied down to prevent myself going from getting hit by another bullet, at least while I healed up a little bit. I just wanted to heal up a tiny bit before I carried on. Anyway, I'm going back up the back here because I, I want to call in my Reaper, but I don't feel safe. You should always feel safe when you call in your kill streak. So go somewhere where you know you're going to be safe. Don't just call it in in any random place because that's the way you're going to lose your kill streak and you're going to feel slightly worse about it. I generally find I feel worse when I lose my kill streak. You know, I, I lose games day in, day out, and I feel bad after I lost a game. If I lose a game, I'm like, oh, oh my god. But if if I if I like here, kill confirmed. It's about getting the dog tags, right? Well, to me, no, it's not. To me, it's me. I I can kill whore while other people get three points. Because when I kill whore. I kill lots of people, I drop lots of dog tags, like right here, I leave that dog tag so that my friend can come along and pick it up later on if he wants to. I do this because I know I can win the game quite easily if I was to pick up every dog tag that I dropped, or every dog tag that I forced somebody to drop. I know I could win the game, piece of piss. But I find that playing kill confirmed is a reason to kill whore and allow your friends to get points so allow this, the, those noobs on your team or the people who can't kill war allow them to get some free points get, allow them to level up nice and fast that's the way I look at kill confirmed anyway you saw as I got the AC130 there I played smart 
I waited on people. So you gotta wait on people. Whenever you're playing this game, waiting and being patient is usually one of the best things you can do. Even even going off and doing something else, like there's someone around a corner and you're just sitting there waiting a second. Even getting up, moving it, moving over a bit, just get a, get a few kills like out a window or around the side of a box or something like that before you come back to that spot and try and get the guy. Usually the best idea is to be patient. Patience is key in this game. A lot of people don't realize that. They just charge around thinking they're Sandy Ravage and they get absolutely slaughtered. You know, it's, it's not the way it's not the way you're gonna get kills. People were like, okay, how do you get kills? Well this is how you get kills. Okay, how do you get a kills and not be a a, a bitch who sits in a corner. Well, that's easy. You don't be a bitch and sit in a corner. As you saw, I didn't sit in a corner all that time. I was a bit campy, yes, but you know, I was playing smart. I, I, I don't call that campy. I would call it playing smart. Playing with tactics is one of the most important things to me. If you don't play with tactics, I don't find you any good. As you saw there, I, I shot around that corner and I realized, oh god, I'm lying down in that corner. I should check, make sure I'm still alive. And luckily enough, I was still alive. Anyway, getting an Osprey Gunner is not too difficult as long as you play smart and you're constantly playing smart, but it's hard to play smart the entire game. A lot of the time you'll find that when people get their kill streaks, or at least when I get my kill streaks, I seem to lose my tactical way of thinking and I just go into an all-out rampage. This was brought on by World at War and the Dogs. Once I got my dog kill streak, that was it. I was just out there rampaging everywhere, just with my dogs distracting them. I just completely, absolutely slaughtered everyone, just charged around, not thinking where I was going. And this is carried over to every other game after after World of War. So that's where that's where that comes from. But if you want to if you want to constantly do well and you want to still do well afterwards, now I should have been a 29 or a 30, you know except for the fact that a wall killed me yes you heard that right a wall killed me I don't know how it happened a grenade went off underneath me and then the kill cam said a wall had killed me it was it was weird as hell I don't know what the hell happened uh, shit broke loose just basically that's the way it happened shit broke loose <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway this game was quite fun. I, I enjoy getting kill streaks. That is why I play when I'm playing with the, the this set of kill streaks, or if I'm playing with any kill streaks at all. Usually, my aim is to get the kill streaks. Now, because I can get the kill streaks, basically, just because I can. Now, for those who can't get kill streaks, that's why they made the specialist package and the support package. You know, you, you don't have to worry about getting kill streaks. Now, if I if I'm looking to win a game, if I go into a into a proper game of say domination, then I usually run the support kill streaks. Not because I can get the kills and get kills and get kill streaks and get kill streaks. Now, right here, I see that guy. I was waiting for the teammate. I was seeing if the teammate would spot him. So the teammate would get the kill and I'd go grab the dog tags. But the teammate just like completely oblivious run by, so I decide, you know what, I'm gonna give him a hand, I'll, I'll take him out. Anyway, so the domination with the support kill streaks. As you can see here, patience is key. Waiting here for this guy. Now let's see if I can finish this. Domination, the support kill streaks, you, you wanna use them if you're playing any sort of tactical gameplay where you wanna win. If you want to win, the support kill streaks are one of the best things that they put in the game. It allows you to get kill streaks without actually thinking about it, without actually having to go out and force yourself to stay alive to get kills. You can jump on the flag and still come back later and still get your kill streak. That's why they made the support kill streaks. Not so you could sit in a corner or sit somewhere around the map with a friend, tactical insert until you get your EMP, then tactical insert some more until you get, you get your Moab. No, that's, that's not why they made it. That is not why they made it at all. Not so you could die and then come back and you could still get some more kill streaks on a go. Anyway, the specialist kill streak is for those that like to run around and get kills, but they like to get gun kills. They don't like kill streak kills. That's why they made the specialist. Or the, the specialist? Yeah, the specialist kill streaks. I've played with all of them. I like all of them. They all have their own pros and cons. 
And right here is where the wall kills me. I don't know why it killed me, don't know how it killed me, but the grenade went off. Watch this. Grenade goes off, the boom, kill cam says wall killed me. The wall killed me. What the hell? Infinity Ward? Dude. What? Really? Come on, fix your walls. Don't let your walls kill me anymore. Infinity Ward. So this gameplay is coming to an end now. This was. This has been Froggy2K9. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Happy days.